In this tutorial, we'll string a few animations together to tell a fun little interactive character story in AR. This is where everything we learned through past tutorials all comes together in one project. It's going to be super fun. So let's start by opening treadmill.real from the downloaded assets. Now I have already set up some behaviors in this scene to help speed things up. And we can see those down here in the behavior builder or by coming up here and pressing preview. Now you can see we have two rings that help set the stage. We have our first portal opening and closing, and we have our runway appearing. Now the experience is off to a great start, but we're gonna add a ton more. So let's come out to the edit mode and let's start by selecting arrow XBot. Now we're gonna duplicate this character. And the reason we're gonna duplicate it is so that we can have two different animation states. One at the start of the experience that will not be interactive, and the second state that will be interactive with a tap trigger. We'll accomplish that by hiding and unhiding those two characters within one frame. And you'll see this as we go along. So with the arrow XBOT selected, come down here and press the duplicate selection button. Now this makes an instance of the character, meaning that even though we have two characters in our scene, we only have one in memory. This saves us file size and helps keep the experience optimized for our viewers. So let's rename the character so we don't get confused. This first one, let's call 01 arrow XBOT. And the second one we will call O2 arrow XBOT. Now let's hide the second because we do not want to get confused uh, by pressing the eye icon and let's select the first character for our first animation. Now this animation is going to be the character falling from the portal on top. So let's come down here and we're going to go into this block and we're going to hit the plus button to add an action. So we're going to say uh, show because we first need to show the character coming down. And this is going to happen rather fast. So let's set the, the duration to 0 0.05. We do want the character to scale in and we're going to come down here and we're going to have it ease in. I'm sorry, ease out. And we want to have a slight delay. So again, we'll do 0 0.05. Now we want to add the animation. So come down again and press the plus button and go to play animation. Now, we don't have any animations loaded on this character. It's just the GLB with the joints and a T-pose. So come over here to the animation set, and we're going to hit this folder icon and then select files. Now navigate to where you downloaded the material and select arrow XBOT anims FBX and hit open. Now I exported this FBX file with multiple animations embedded into a single FBX. Now I did this to save us time on importing, but remember each one of these files could be a separate FBX files and brought in by itself one at a time. You can learn more about importing animations by watching the importing character animations in Arrow tutorial. Now, this first line, zero, zero, whole thing, that's the, all the animations chained together so you can see what it looks like. But we don't need that right now. We're gonna select 01, drop, ta-da. Let's come down here and we're gonna turn off transition. Transition actually creates a blend between the animations, but since I create these animations and I know they all start with the same star pose, I have turned that off. Now we could preview this by pressing the plus button and you see the character drops down and does a little ta-da, a little magic, fun stuff. Now we could preview this and see what it looks like, which would be a good idea. So let's hide the character, zoom out just a little bit and let's go to preview. All right, we have our rings to establish the set. We have our portal opening and we have our character dropping. Ta-da, looks really good. All right, so let's come back out to the edit mode and let's make sure we have 01 arrow XBOT selected and we are gonna add a hide action. So come underneath uh, here and we're gonna select hide and we want this hide to happen within one frame. So we'll set the, the duration to zero and he'll go away and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna add a show action for our O2 character. So let's come down here, hit show, add a show action. Again, we want this to happen with one frame so we're gonna set this to zero. Now basically what's gonna happen is this character is gonna turn off and this character is gonna turn on. This character is not gonna have any triggers associated with it, this character will. All right, now we have to add an animation for this character. We're gonna add the idle. So let's add the play animation action. And we'll come over here, make sure we have O2 selected, we do. And in the animation set, let's actually select it and go down to arrow XBOT anims. And then in the clips, let's go down to idle loop. Now there's two settings we need to change here. One, we could turn off the transition because we know that these start and end in the same pose and we wanna set this to infinite. What this means is we want this animation to play uh, forever. We just want it to zoom or we just want them to 
actually play idle over and over and over again until the viewer taps on the character. Okay, so make sure that's set to infinite. Now, I want to add one more animation that is set to infinite, and that is the scrolling on our runway here. Now, remember that arrow plays all the actions within one block at the same time and only moves to the next sequence after completing all those actions. Setting an infinite action means that the block never completes because it just goes forever and ever. Therefore, it'll never move to the next block. But no worries, we can just create a separate start action right here. We have it already set, so let's actually come up and we're gonna say play images. Now we have the runway selected, so it's gonna grab it down here. And if we hit play, we see our runway PNG sequence playing. Now let's come down here and select infinite so that plays forever. Now make sure this is set to 15 frames per second. Sometimes you bring it in, it'll be set to one. I did not animate it at one frame a second, so make sure this is set to 15 for it to play correctly. Great, and we'll just leave that going. So now we have two infinite actions on the start. We have our, or we have our infinite set on our first start, and we have a second start trigger that sets the infinite on our runway. All looking great. So let's hide the character in the runway, and let's see how it's all coming together. All right, we have our rings. Looking good. We have our portal. The character's going to drop out. And now the character is going to switch from 01 to 02 right when we see the runway right now. So now it's a different character. But you see, you didn't notice it. And we have our scrolling uh, PNG sequence happening on the floor there. And that'll go on forever. Perfect. So let's come back out to edit. And now let's select 02 arrow Xbot. Let's show them just so we can see the character. We are going to add a trigger onto this. We're going to add a tap trigger. So with that character selected, come down here to Behavior Builder and set a tap trigger. And now we want the character to play an animation. So we're going to hit the plus action to play animation. And again, we want to come over to the animation set, drop down to our FBX animations here, select it, and then in the clips, we want to play 03 idle to run to jump. And now let's turn off transitions again, because it's going to start in the same pose as the idle. And we're all good there. If you hit play, you can see what's going to happen. The character's going to run jump and go into the portal. But wait, there's no portal there. So let's add that action to this block. So come, let's actually grab the, the portal. This is portal end. We want to add a show action. So we'll hit plus and then show. And then we want to have the duration is 0.5 because we established that. Scale looks good. Ease out is great. Now we do want to add a delay. Now when adding a delay and you're trying to match this animation, if you come back up to the play animation action, and underneath clip length, it tells you how long the animation is. It's 2.79 seconds. So let's come back down here, and we're going to add a delay of about two seconds. I'm guessing the character will be roughly about here. So the portal will show when the character is about here, right before the jump, right before it jumps into the portal. Now uh, we have sound associated with portals, so let's add a play audio, and we'll just come over to, uh, to the clip and play the wipe sound, which is a default sound that comes with arrow. So we have the character playing the animation, the, sh the portal showing, and the portal playing the sound. Now we need to hide the character, and we want to mimic the character going into the ground. So we're going to select our character O2, and then we're going to add a hide action. Hide action here. Uh, duration, we want it to be zero. <laughs> we want it to happen extremely fast, like in zero frames or one frame. Now we do need a delay, and we know how long the animation is, so let's delay this 2.75 seconds. That should work just fine. So now we have the character running, jumping into the portal that shows, plays a sound, and the character hides. So now we need to close the portal. So let's do that in a separate animation block. So let's select the portal, portal end. Here we go. And we are going to add a hide. So we're going to add a hide action. Uh, we want to set the duration to 0.5 because we've established that's how long those take and no delay, and that's perfect. <laughs> it hides. Now let's add the sound to it. So play audio, and we'll do the wave, and that's all great. Now we need to move this character back to this point because the character is going to be down here. The, the end of that animation sets him down here. So let's select our O2 uh, arrow Xbot, and then we're going to add a move to action. Select the move to action, and then come over here in the location. We actually want to set a pin. So select this button here and it'll create a pin. Now if you select the pin, we can actually change the position. Change the, the position to negative 43. 
10, and then 0 in the x. Boom. And then we actually want the duration of our character moving to this pin to be 0 frames, 0 seconds. Okay, we want it to happen quick. Perfect. Now we want to actually show the portal opening up here on top, all within this action block. So we're going to show the start portal. So let's come up and select the portal start, and we're going to play a show because we want it to show. We want to have it set to 0.5, and then we need a delay as well. So we're going to set the delay to 0.5, and then we need to add the sound too. So real quick, play audio. Since we have the portal selected, it actually has it selected as a subject, and the audio clip's already loaded, so it's white. Boom. We're all good there, except for, don't forget to set the delay here, 0.5. Okay, so let's check all this out. Let's close, or let's hide our character, and let's preview the whole scene. Looks good. Our portal to show. Character drops. Ta-da! And now, the character will stay in this idle pose until I tap on it, because now it's interactive. And I'll tap on it. Oh, there's a sound that should not be there. Let's figure out where that was. So let's select our, I know what I did. I did the same thing before. We have our, I'm going to come down here. Let's grab portal end. Did I add a delay? I have a two second delay there. I do not have a two second delay here. So let's make sure we have a two second delay. Okay. So now that should work. Let's test it out again. There goes the rings. There's the portal. Character drops. Ta-da! We'll wait until we get the runway, which means we could tap on them. Now they run, portal shows up, jumps in, portal goes away, portal shows. Now we need to add the animation to wrap it up. We're bringing it home now. Awesome. So let's come down here to our tap trigger, and we are going to add the animation of our character. Actually, we're going to show the character first, and then we'll add the animation. So let's select O2 arrow Xbot, select the action. We're going to do a show. Again, we're going to mimic the character coming out of the thin air. So we're going to have this happen pretty quick. Um, but not at zero frames. So we're going to do 0 0.05 seconds, half of a second. This, we want to set the scale to be, or the effect to be scale. That's all fine. And we do need a slight delay, just like we did in the beginning at 0 0.05. Perfect. Now it's going to show the character. Now we need to play an animation. So we'll come up, hit play animation. Make sure we have our O2 arrow Xbox character selected. In the animation set, we want to select our FBX files. And then the clips, we actually want to do the 04 drop to idle. The only difference between the, the drop ta da and the drop to idle is the beginning animation had a little pizzazz to it, but ta da, this one just goes right to idle. Okay, uh, and then come down and turn off transition. And if we show the character, we can see what the animation looks like by hitting the play button. Boom, goes right into idle. All right, that's what we want. Great. So now we need to hide the portal up on top, and then we're done. So let's select portal, portal start, and we are going to say hide, and we need the duration set to 0.5, because we've established that, and we do not need a delay. And then we actually want to add the sound to it too. So we're gonna have a play audio, and we'll come over to clip sound, and we'll select wave, and that should do it. So this should be our whole scene. Let's check it out. Here we go. We have the rings moving out to set the stage. Portal comes, character drops, ta-da. It's gonna go into a looping idle that I'll play in forever. Same with the scrolling. I could tap on the character, character runs, portal to show, jumps in, disappears, pops out. There we go, and this loops forever. This is the treadmill of life, right? Drops you right back down. Fun stuff. Now we could actually add sound to all these actions, which would be really great, um, but we do not have time in this tutorial. Uh, but if you do, please share uh, and let me see your work because I love when people add the sound to it, it's super fun. I hope this tutorial was helpful and you learned a lot and thank you for sticking around. I know it was a long one.